known by many as Ugodi, or the City of Gold. But Johannesburg is paying a high price for all the gold pulled from the ground around here. The mining has produced water that can be as acidic as battery acid, and it's been flowing into water supplies, so-called acid mine drainage. And activists have been warning for years about the likely harm. There are 270 tailing storage facilities containing 6 billion tons of iron pyrite tailings. The iron pyrite is the catalyst for acid mine drainage, so the tailings dams will continue to be diffuse sources of acid mine drainage for centuries. The government has put in place a clean-up plan to run from 2020 that's expected to cost around $38 million a year. It would be sensible to treat it so it doesn't cause quite as much pollution. That is going to happen. The only question is who's going to pay? Because the pollution was caused by mines, many of which have closed down and gone away a long time ago. The government says it's not seeking to punish miners for sins committed by now defunct mining companies. Again, showing the, the goodness of this ruling government, this ruling party. We, we're not on a witch hunt. We want a journey to build our country. But it does want the industry to pay two thirds of the cost of the cleanup. South Africa's surviving miners are already struggling. They've been hit by a slide in commodity prices that has come on top of widespread labor unrest. Output in May plunged by 18%, the most on record. No easy answers then to what is clearly a serious problem. But government and industry here need to find a solution or risk passing on this legacy for generations to come. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Johannesburg, South Africa.